Hey everyone, Queen Elle here. Welcome to a video on my favourite Simba's Pride merch. Um, I actually forgot to record this video. I posted on Instagram this would be uploaded like a couple of days ago. And I just never got round to actually making, sitting down and making this video. Um, so this is favourite things of Simba's Pride I actually own in my collection. Um, everybody else has their favourites and Simba's Pride is probably one of my favourite things to collect because it's really 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 cute merchandise and um the characters are amazing so um i've got like 10 things here they're not going to be in order they're just 10 things i've just picked up and i'm like hmm, i really like this so they're not going to be ranked like least favorite to favorite um because it's a bit unfair and i'd be here forever actually picking a favorite and it's really hard when you have a lot of merch so don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new to my channel and let's get right into my favourite Simba's Pride things. So one of the first things I have to show you guys is one of the first things I picked up from eBay when I first started collecting. Um, I got this like maybe three or four years ago and um, it's literally means so much to me just because you know your first things always mean like the most. I got this Kiara and Kovu applause money bank um, and I think I got it for buy it now for £6. Isn't this just adorable? Um, it's quite hard to come by now especially but mine was in still really really good condition and Kiara only has like a little paint loss on her nose but apart from that it's just adorable. So this time I have two plushies and um, these are ones, one of the items I've had for ages and one I got a couple of years ago. Um, my first Christmas collecting Lion King, my mum got me a bundle from eBay. Uh, the first item in this bundle was Purr and Kiara. Um, she's the one I've had for like four years. Um, she needs new batteries but she does still work. I've got Kovu here to show you guys but Kiara is just adorable and she's quite hard to come by. She's sometimes rare and sometimes common just depending on when you go on eBay but look at that face, isn't she just adorable? So here we have Kovu. I've actually had three purring Kovus. The first one I got, um, his box was like cut out his stomach and sewed up so he didn't purr. The second one I got didn't work and the third one my mum found in a charity shop. So he's the one from the charity shop and he is just adorable. I it's really hard to pick one out of the two, but I really like Kovu's face <laughs> and he's just really, really cute. Um, Kovu still purrs, but he's really quiet because his batteries are starting to die. Um, so I'll purr him. I don't know if you can hear him. Like, really, really quiet. I should probably shut up. So, I hope you can hear him, but I mean, he's just really, really cute. And I was looking at my Kiara there. Um, I just thought the label was starting to fade but yeah if you guys really are into Simba's Pride merch use this guide well this video is a guide of what you can actually get because I'm going to be showing you more a range of actual things like different weird things I have which are I really like um so let's move on to my next thing so moving on are two things I recently got from eBay um shipped all the way from Canada um I've been wanting these for ages and I could never ever find them. It took me years to actually locate both of them. Um, we have a little trinket box here of Kovu, but I'll move it in my other hand so you can see it. A little trinket box here of Kovu. You probably can't see him because the the light, my big light, um, and he's got like a little newt or lizard on his back. They're all hand painted so their detail um, is nice but they could do with like a little more on the face. Um, so he has like a yellow and orange base and they are made by Ocean Spray and it says the Lion King and there's Ocean Spray at the bottom. They're so pretty. Let's stick you up there. And then obviously you can't have Kovu without Kiara who's got her kind of little purple butterfly which has become like her signature when it comes to Simba's Pride. I fell in love with the base because my favourite colour is purple, you know, if you haven't already guessed. Um, so I really liked her base and she just says the exact same thing in there and Ocean Spray as well. I mean, they're really adorable. If you ever get the chance to get these, highly recommend it. Like, I'm going to recommend everything in this video. But anyway, this is probably one of my rarest Simba's Pride things because they're really hard to find and I'm not sure of the origin from these. I don't know if obviously because they're from Canada, um, like Canadian people speak French so they're either from like France or Canada or 
excited for this week's fridge. But yeah, really, really cute. Okay, so my next item, you're probably going to be like, why are you showing me a cup? Um, this little plastic uh, Simba's Pride cup. It's been in my collection for a number of years. I picked it up from a car boot sale for 50 pence. And I remember when I first started going to my car boot sales, I never took a bag or nothing. So anything I got, I just carried. Um, and I remember I picked up a lot of Lion King stuff that day as well as this cup. And they were looking at everything I got, like to giving me dirty looks. And I was like, hey, I want to buy your cup. Stop giving me looks and take my money. And yeah, so I got this <laughs> Kiara and Kovu cup. It's really cute. There's more to the set of this. There's like placemats and cutlery and stuff. Um, but I'm just super happy with my cup because look how cute that is. So another item I got is one I actually had in my collection, like everything else, for a good few years. Um, this was at like a kind of pop-up charity shop. My mum uh, found me a towel. Um, there was ones on eBay, the matching one I needed, like as a set on eBay, and I got outbiddy last second, and I was like, oh my god. Because <laughs> the Kiara towel here, there is, this is like a bath towel one. There's hand towels of her, this one and Kiara and Kovu on it as well. Um, I think it was either 145 or 195 but it's still in really good condition and literally still smells new. Um, so yeah, still in the hunt for the Kovu one. One day I'll get it. So something else I literally bought from eBay not that long ago. Um, oh my god, they're not coming out. I actually bought these thinking I could make pillowcases from these because if you've seen the photo I own a double sided Simba and Nala um, pillowcase I got from eBay. So these ones are like literally the exact same colour so I was like they'll go that's amazing. But the problem is they are way too big. Um, I think I won them for like £3. There's two of them. So on one side it has Kiara and Kovu. And on the other, it has Kovu with a little birdie on his head. And the other one is literally just the exact same. So I planned, you know, have one with Kovu, one with Kiara and Kovu. Um, I'm not sure where they were, like, made from. They don't have, like, they literally look in the shape of a pillowcase. But if I put a pillow in there, it would be too big. Um... Like, the insides, there's no buttons or nothing to fold. Hang on, we actually have a tag. I've never noticed this. Okay. Well, that's new. I've literally just discovered they have a Simba's Pride tag. But it doesn't say what they are. I wonder if they are just very huge pillowcases. I mean, these are ginormous. There is no way these would fit on my bed. Hmm. I wonder if I'll find something for them. I can make them into like a plush sack, I suppose. Oh well, anyway, we shall see. If anybody knows what exactly these are, or if they're just very, very big pillowcases, please let me know, because it's really bugging me. Okay, so you can have a complete collection if you don't have any ornaments from any of the movies. Um, my next ones are going to be like an ornament and stuff I'm going to show you guys. Um, so the first one is Adult Nala, being an adult, well, a Nala fan girl of Nala Queen Nala anyway um so I had to get this one I got this set I think it's two years ago actually this month because a lot of stuff's been reappearing on my time hop on my page um so I came with adult Nala put her there I wanted her forever especially the ceramic set then it comes with Kiara whose muzzle was a different color from the rest of her there's Simba, who looks very, very proud. Stick him there. Then, of course, it comes with Kovu. It also comes with Timon and Pumbaa, but I've left them in my drawer because, you know, I was only really planning to show you guys the lions. Um, I got this whole set, the Simba's Pride set, and three more ceramics for £55, I remember, because she had it for 60 and I offered her 50 and she declined. And I was like... Okay, so then they relisted for 55 and I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to take them because I wanted them that badly. Um, so yeah, I ended up getting them. Hang on, I've just got a message on my screen. Just want to go away. Thank you. Alright, so I don't know what number I'm on, so I'm just going to keep picking random things. So this is probably going to be a long video. But anyway, I hope everybody enjoys it. So I'm going to find something else. 
So my next item is something I always get lots of compliments for because just in general it's a very nice item. Um, my Simba's Pride photo frame, which I'll hold here. Um, this is my second frame I got from eBay for a buy it now of like £7. I mainly got it because it came with box, it was in perfect condition and the Simba's Pride thing's still in it. I love how you can see a reflection of me just like video section right here. Um, so you know you've got Colvin Vitani, Simba Nala, Kiara. Pumba and Timon so it was really really nice and the retail of this frame was originally £15 so yeah really really nice but it's really hard to come by so I feel really lucky to have actually been able to find another one that was just like I wanted it in perfect condition. Next two items are things I've never seen before well I've seen them when I was buying them and then I've never seen them pop up for sale again um, they're really really cute. I've had them for a couple of years. Um, I bought them on a Disney selling group. Um, we have this little Kiara purse who's embroidered in there and it's really cute. Oh my bottles decided to explode. And they come with like a little, um, I don't know what this is, just a little keyring thing. Um, they were originally from the Disney store and I think they were £3 each but really really cute. And then obviously you can't have Kiara if you don't have Kovu. He's really cute and he has his little... Um, tag. I have quite a lot of old Simba's Fried stuff at the Disney store. Um, I've got an art set as well which is really cute. I just feel like there's something in here but I think it's just the beanies that are a bit mental but yeah so lovely little purses. My next item is actually something I got from a car boot years ago. Um, you ever, if you know your car boots or flea markets, I know they're like the same thing. Like you'll walk past stalls and there'll be nothing, so you'll keep going back and forward and pa maybe pass the same stall like four times and there's nothing. I done that and I remember going across this stall, then a quick glance and I remember seeing which I thought was Kiara or Sim. I actually thought it was Simba. Um, so you know I moved the books and I found it. And it was actually a Kiara watch. Um, this is probably one of the things in my collection that if I was to ever sell it for whatever reasons or there was a house fire, please will be a house fire. Um, these, this would be definitely the one thing I would retrieve from my collection because you're like, it's just a plastic watch. But I'm like, it's amazing. Um, I know there's also a Kovu version of this where you can change heads and there's Kovu um, but it's really really cute I used to put batteries in it and it did actually work because I remember going into high school with it one time because I, I can't remember what it was we were doing at high school and I wore it and I was like I feel such like a child but it was so funny um, but yeah this Kiara watch is amazing and if I, I've never seen it again for sale but I'd love to somehow manage to find the Kovu version or even the Kovu in our unchangeable head that would really make my day. So my other Kiara and Kovu items, this might as well be a Kiara and Kovu video. Anyway, um, I got these from eBay, um, eBay Germany. Um, someone was selling Mattel Kiara. Um, so I've had her for ages and can't have Kiara again without Kovu. So they were selling both of them together. I think I got them for like both 20 euros with postage, something like that. Um, but yeah, I was really glad to actually find these because they're really hard to find. Normally you find one without the other. I'm still forever on the hunt of the applause figures though. But I just can't seem to find them anywhere. They're just too hard for me to find. Okay, so I think that does it for my favourite Simba's Pride thing. There are a couple of things I wanted to put in this video. But they are out of reach right now. If you guys know my wardrobe display, I have plushies on my wardrobe. Like my adult Simba, Nala, Scar. Um, my big sitting Kiara and Kovu are actually up there, so I can't reach them to bring them down or else I would Because I've started my custom PC and it's currently in that corner But when I mean in that corner the box uh, boxes for everything are literally Raised to the top of my wardrobe, so I literally cannot get in Um, the other things I wanted to include but I didn't there is a snow globe up there. Hang on. Let me just There there's a snow globe up there, but I was like meh because that's going to be Saturday's review, so I was like, <laughs> surprise. And those two cups, but I couldn't be bothered bringing them down. Um, would have loved to include these more, more things. There was a book I wanted to include because it had adult Kiara and Kovu. 
I had Vitani and I had Nook on it, like as stickers. Um, but that, all my books are in my wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it has been quite a long one. Um, don't forget to leave a like for you and subscribe if you're new to my channel and stick around for a new video. Bye!